atomic hydrogen arc welding combines the advantages of easy manipulation and accurate control of the molten pool. Successful welding with this process depends largely upon control of a few simple factors. One, size of the arc. Two, contact of the arc with the work. Three, speed of travel. And four, current setting. For this demonstration, we will weld a corner joint on material three thirty seconds of an inch thick. The edges should be held together by tack welding or clamping and should fit closely over their entire length. Atomic hydrogen welding is best accomplished in the flat position. The current setting is made to establish a speed of welding which the operator can maintain easily and uniformly. About 30 amperes will provide average welding speed on 3 30 seconds inch material. With this current setting, we are using electrodes 1 16th inch in diameter. They are given their maximum extension. The hydrogen is turned on, the arc is struck, and a check of the hydrogen flow is made by observing the arc with the electrodes about 1 16th inch apart. The arc is applied so that its lower edge just touches the work. Both edges of the joint melt and fuse into a pool of molten metal. The size and shape of the molten pool are the guides to good welding. On a corner joint, the width of the pool should be about twice the thickness of the work, and the surface of the pool should be well rounded. The operator maintains a proper pool by controlling speed of travel. With this type of joint, the arc may be held across the joint for easier operation, or in line with the joint for faster travel. To end a weld, travel speed is increased slightly, and the arc is lifted at the end. The finished weld is clean, uniform, and well-rounded. A narrow bead appearing through the back shows the complete penetration achieved under correct welding conditions. Conditions that are not correct are quickly indicated by an improper pool. When the molten pool is not correct, the operator can trace the trouble to either too little heat or too much heat. In starting a weld, too little heat is indicated if too much time is required to start fusion and establish a molten pool. This may be caused by too small an arc, in which case the arc gap should be increased. Too little heat also results from holding the arc too far from the work. The edge of the arc should touch the work. Failure of the pool to form promptly may also be caused by low current. The current setting should be increased until a molten pool can be established quickly. During welding, too little heat is indicated if the pool is small, difficult to maintain and solidifies quickly, leaving surface porosity. Make sure the arc is large enough and close enough. If these two factors are correct and too little heat is still indicated, either reduce the travel speed or the current setting should be increased to permit the faster rate of travel. Too much heat must also be avoided. Too much heat is being applied if the molten pool tends to become wide and flat. Unless corrected immediately, the pool may drop through and form a hole. Too much heat may be caused by too large an arc or by holding the arc too close to the work.
if these factors are correct and the pool is still wide and flat, either increase the travel speed or reduce the current setting to permit a slower rate of travel. Other types of joints are made with slight variations in technique. The molten pool is still the operator's guide. In making an edge weld, good penetration is achieved when the pool flows to the outer edges and is well rounded. The finished weld is smooth and uniform. Note that the bead overhangs the edge slightly. In welding a butt joint, filler metal may not be required if the edges are in contact throughout their length. A space should be provided under the joint. The electrodes may be offset to hold the arc in line with the seam. A molten pool having a flat surface and a width of about twice the plate thickness gives complete penetration. The surface of the pool should be maintained about level with the plate. The contour of the finished weld is slightly concave. The underside shows complete penetration with slight reinforcement. In making fillet wells, filler metal is generally required. The arc is held in line with the joint. A molten pool is formed extending to the root and filler metal is added to establish and maintain a fillet of the required size. The rate of adding filler is controlled by the frequency of application. Note that the end of the rod is placed directly into the pool. The finished weld is smooth and uniform. A cross section shows good contour and fusion into the root. Note absence of undercut or overlap. In welding very delicate sections, such as this Monel metal screen, the silent arc is used. The work is held in place by clamping. The arc gap is reduced until the singing sound stops. This provides the confinement of heat needed for close control when welding delicate sections. The finished weld is strong and clean. Now in conclusion, let us remember that success with atomic hydrogen arc welding depends upon size of arc, contact of the arc with the work, speed of travel, and current setting. By controlling these factors to maintain the proper molten pool, good welding is achieved.